Hello guys, today I will be showing us something that is very um, common when you're using Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and um, it's, um, it's a common error that most data analysts encounter when they start out using this particular software or this particular tool. Okay, and as a data analyst, I have equally encountered several errors in with different software application different programs and sometimes the truth is these errors can be very daunting they can actually discourage you from continuing your learning journey swiftly or effectively as you would have loved to so in this particular um video i'll just be showing us how to tackle this cannot connect to your server error so like you know, if you've used uh, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio before or you are about to start using it, this video is very important. So you should watch to the very end. So here I have opened my Management Studio. If I try to connect, I right click on the server here and I try to connect to my server. If I click on connect, I'm waiting for my server to connect. So in this um, video, I'll basically be um, showing us two different ways, two different methods that you can connect to your server and um, try to find the, that you can connect to your server so you can use it. This is because when I also encountered this particular error, it took, um, it took, it took me some time before I was able to find the to this and the solution was not just in one particular place so this is the error that i encountered cannot connect to local slash sql express that's the name of my server in my on, on my pc so it was really difficult but i found a way so i also want to tell you how you can solve this problem so it doesn't become it doesn't it doesn't become a problem anymore so okay so yeah my server has refused to connect, it's saying cannot connect to server. So most times I would encourage you when you see an error message like this, try to read the error message. That will let you know what the error message, that will let you what the error is all about and how you can um, tackle that particular error. So this is the first step. We're going to do the first step here on management to the platform. So you click OK. Once you see that, and um, once you click OK, of course, this is a dialog box. If you try to click something else, you will not be able to do anything else except you clear off this dialog box. So you can click off the dialog box for now. Then you come over to where you have this um, bar. You see registered servers here. But if you don't see it right now on your system, you can click on View. On the view tab once you click on the view tab you see registered servers and you can click on it okay so mine is already showing so i can go back to my registered servers when you go to your registered server most time you see only database engine here so you click to expand and you see local servers group you also click to expand local servers groups once you click to expand local server groups you see your server your pc name and your server the second one is my server. Of course, you see in this red um, button, which signifies that this server is not running. So that is the major cause of the problem. Once your server is not running, there is no way SQL can connect to the server. So you have to start up the server for your um, management studio to connect to it. And then you can start writing all the queries that you want. So here we come over to here and you right click. Once you right click on your server, you go down to where you have service control. You go down to where you have service control. You see, once you over on service control, you see where to click on start. The start button is actually enabled while the other ones are disabled. Okay, so you click on start. So once I click on start, I'll have to. Once I click on start, the dialog box shows on my screen. I have to say OK. And of course, another one shows you on Management Studio, which says, are you sure you want to start? Of course, basically asking if I want to start my SQL Server on this PC. And I say yes. Once you say yes, you wait 
for it to start. So right now, service control is attempting to start my server. And we'll just wait for a couple of seconds. And yeah, if you look right here, my server is already has started right now because there is a green button here close to my server that tells you that your server is up and running so for you to know that your server is actually okay for you to use now you can click to expand under your object explorer you can click to expand your server or you right click and try to connect once you try to connect like we did the first time you see that it has connected there is no error message here so if you want to write a new query you can click to start writing any particular query that you want to. That is, if you've already created a database, you already have tables, or you already have a project that you were working on before. Once you click, your query has opened. You can write all the queries. Of course, you have to go directly to the database first, but that's not the focus for today. So I'm going to show us the other method. So before I show us the other method of connecting to our server, I will have to stop this server from running currently. So here, of course, I go back to my registered server and I right click, come back to service control and I click stop. So when I click stop, there is a dialog box that is showing here asking if I want to stop. I say yes. And right now, my server is about to stop. So here, if I come back here, I, if, by the time the server stops, you already see this um, red button. This can this thing that looks like a signal close to your server. So if you try to connect it, so always look out for that. Um, those little button that will tell you if your server is if it's green, you know that your server is running. If it's red, you know that your server has stopped. So if I try to connect back, I'm trying to connect back. So we'll see that right now the server has stopped. So we can't use it before we I progress to show you the second second step or second way that you can connect. That you can connect to server if your server has stopped running okay so right now the error message has popped up again cannot connect to server that's because the server has stopped running okay so this is another way that we're going to tackle this particular problem you can click ok to clear up the error message then come over to your um, search button on your PC. You type for SQL Server Configuration Manager. This is what configuration. It already displayed the SQL Server Configuration Manager. Sorry, I didn't add the 2019. That's why it didn't show up here. But if you click, this is my SQL Server um, 2019 Configuration Manager because I have it here on my PC so I can to launch the program. So once I double click to launch the program, I wait for the program to open. So here my Configuration Manager has opened. And of course, under SQL Server Services, you see, you see the um, the screen, what is showing, is showing your server, SQL server, of course, that's my SQL server and the SQL, um, my server name, that's SQL Express. I'm seeing SQL server agent, SQL server browser. And if you look at the second column here, the stats, this just shows you the status of your server. It means that this server has stopped. That is why you cannot connect and you can't do anything on the management studio. So what you do here is just to come over to SQL Server and right click on it. Once you right click on it, you see that the um, start, that start is actually enabled. Of course, other ones are disabled for now because it stops. So you click on, once you click on that, you click on start. So your 
server configuration manager is trying to start and also remember the button i talked about here it is also showing a green button that shows you that the server is currently running the status has changed from stop to running so if you come back here to your management studio and you try to connect back it is going to open and you already see here that your server is up and running and that's that's that so this is how you can connect to um connect to your sql server in cases where you have that particular error then also let me check this in there are cases where after doing this different methods of trying to connect to your server you notice that um you see another error that tells you that a connection has already been established but you cannot um, use it due to login issues the error messages of that nature. I say this because a friend actually contacted me and requested for some help after helping to connect to server. That was the message it was um, he received. So we tried to find a way. And for so if you if you have that particular instance that kind of error too, that's after connecting to your server and you're not able to use it due to maybe login issues. Just come over here to under where you have registered servers. Just come directly to your um, server, SQL server, and right click on it. Once you right click on it, you go down to properties. So you select properties. Once you select properties, a dialog box will appear here. So you go to connection properties. Once you go to connection properties, you click here. You come down and click. And select trust server certificate trust server certificate so what this trust server certificate does is just to allow sql know that this um this management studio you are using this server that you're using is from a trusted source okay then you click on save so i didn't need to click mine because my own um, sql server is actually from a trusted um source but if you have that particular um, area of connection established but not being able to use because of login issues, I would advise you to come here and click on that trust server certificate and you'll be good to go. So you can now come to your database, the database that you've created, then go ahead to write all the queries that you need to right okay so thank you for watching this video if you learned something please like share comment and thank you so much